Hi, Larry, WD0AKX, and this is part three, looking back at CB radio magazines from the 1970s. If you haven't seen the other two parts, check them out first. This uh, video is only for certain people that will be interested in this, if you were into CB radio in the 1970s, and that's how I got started into ham radio. So uh, I have a bunch left here. We're just going to select certain highlighted uh, sections out of them because it um, be too much to cover them all, but I want to kind of go through the rest of them here. So we're going to pick out highlights. Let's take a look. Starting with CB Guide October of 1976 <clears throat> with Dennis Weaver as McLeod on the front cover. We have Pace Radio, Pace Mobile. S9 Magazine, which was another CB Radio magazine at the time. You can subscribe to. Palomar. Here's a remote control head for your CB radio with the built-in audio compressor for the mic. Subscribe to CB Guide. One year was uh, $11.25 for 12 issues. Newsstand price $15. Robin Radios. <coughs> Noise Cures. This is a story of uh, Billy Campbell, and she's the ex-wife of singer Glenn Campbell, and she had a beauty shop that she owned in Hollywood, Billy's Beauty, and she used CB to help schedule appointments and stuff, and a lot of celebrities come in there that used CB also to call in if they're going to be late and things like that if they're out on the road. So it's quite a story here on how she used CB radio uh, as part of her business. You may or may not remember, but in the 70s, NBC had a show called McLeod with Dennis Weaver. He's the actor. They worked CB radio into uh, some of the scripts on the show, and, and Dennis Weaver also used CB in his personal life, and they used it on the set. So this is an interesting story. And Chief Cliff Clifford, who played in the show, uh, also was into CB radio in his personal life, so when he used it on set, it came natural for him here. It says he used a Craig CB transceiver of his own in his own personal car. And then we have the Cricket speakers. Here's a Palomar radio I mentioned in one of my previous videos. The way it was set up, this is 1976, and they knew uh, CB was coming with more channels in 1977. They weren't sure how many yet, but they prepared their radio with a synthesizer and a setup here with two dials. So they could, just by programming a chip, they could expand the channels to as necessary as whatever the FCC uh, came to allow in 1977, which ended up being 40 channels. But they could just program it in the chip in the radio. So this was 23 channel as it first came out, but they expanded uh, using the same radio. They could just easily expand it to the 40 channel later on then in 77. Product report on the Crystal X CB7 23 channel. This looks a lot like, uh, oh, what is it, the Craig or the Craco? I believe it looks a lot, uh, has a lot and similar with this. Wilson Electronics or Wilson Antennas, beams. You could really get out good with those. Los Angeles CB is organized against crime. This is fairly common too. There's a lot of articles in these magazines about how local CB. React groups and other groups uh, organize uh, along with the local police departments and set up a watch type thing. They have a police ra or a uh, CB radio at the law enforcement center and monitor Channel 9 and work with the CB operators in the area. A lot of calls at that time came in on Channel 9 because a lot of people had CBs in their car or a truck or whatever. There's a Handic CB. They usually were orange in color, Handic radios. And a product report on a Surveyor 10-channel scanner, crystal-type scanner. And keep moving here, the Browning radios, the Lafayette base station. Listed for $349. It was single sideband. Here's a build-in antenna for restricted locations. Look at that. 
make a mast that you can raise and lower. Shows you how to put it, sink it in the ground and cement it and all that. The antenna lock. Midland handheld radio review. And if you remember, uh, they had Miss CB Guide a lot of times in these issues where somebody would send in a photo of their girlfriend or wife or whatever, and you could win a free subscription. So that was Miss CB Guide. Vanta antennas. And an SBE mobile radio to December of 1976 with a picture of Flip Wilson on the cover and the solar hot rod power antenna. And the one-hander Radio Shack mobile. Full story on bleed over, what causes it, and how can it be cured. That was common with CB radio. A lot of people were running their radios incorrectly and using too much power or things like that. So it was a problem. Installing a mobile antenna. That's kind of a disguised antenna. Where it looks like an AM, FM antenna, or, and it retracts into the trunk. This article is about a Houston hospital that uses CB to monitor Channel 9 for emergency traffic and they ha get a lot of calls there according to the article or they did at that time. Here's an attic type antenna that's directional that you can set up in your attic with the rotator. A Chris mobile radio. Single sideband radio 359. Signal kicker antenna. Worked good. I had one of those mounted on a trunk. Here we go. A subscription CB guide. I better send this in. See what happens. Huh? I can get uh, for $7.50 a year. Half price. Well, I don't think this would go anywhere. Handic radios again. Shack one-hander. I showed you that in a previous video. Listed for 149 and Solar hot rod. More about that later. Another show from the 1970s was Flip Wilson's show, if you remember that. He's called The Killer. And he was a celebrity and he had a, a variety show. Um, he was a comedian and an actor. But he got into CB radio and used it quite often. He had a base station and he used it in his mobile on the way to and from work. So you might want to look, uh, look up Flip on the internet there if you want to find out more about him. He uh, is no longer with us, but pretty good story here. And they set up an antenna here on the roof of his house for him. He got on, uh, he did a lot of comedic voices, impressions and that. And he'd get on his CB uh, with some of his voices and uh, have a lot of fun. of a Gemtronic scanner, crystal type scanner. And the Telex headsets. Here's a courier base type radio. I have one similar to this. I'll let you see. This one here listed for two seventy nine. Here's a quick peek at my courier base station. This is a forty channel. Now here's the solar hot rod CB antenna. I don't know if you remember these or not. I never uh, knew anybody that had one, so I couldn't ask them. I remember uh, one of our local shops did sell them. But I never talked to anybody that used one, so I don't know how they worked, how well they worked. I think basically what they were was a receive preamplifier with a short antenna, and you could set that up to be used along with your other antenna for transmitting. Um, this was the man that designed it, Dan Roberts. And it shows you uh, kind of how to hook it up there. Interesting concept, Here's I guess. This month's Miss CB Guide. All the treasure magazines, I remember those. I used to pick them up on the newsstand once in a while. Had a metal detector. SB radios. Now we'll move up to January 1977, CB Guide. This is uh, 40 channels is here, as you can see. Showing, uh, they go on location with Alex Carras. This article shows how to plot your antenna pattern using a field strength meter and moving around your car in a certain pattern. And you can make plots that way. See which direction your antenna radiates best in. Let's look at a new 40 channel radio transceiver made by Standard, Horizon 29, 229.95. And another radio, the Sharp 
CB800 transceiver, $149.95. Another Handic orange radio, a Tenelec programmable scanner. Programmable scanners were just coming on the market at this time. And a high gain single sideband 40 channel base station for $49.95. Here's another good article. If you're not familiar with Red Savine, look him up on the internet. He was a musician, singer, songwriter, and singer, mainly singer, I, ble I believe. But uh, he uh, did a song back then called Teddy Bear. And it was about uh, a kid uh, limited to the wheelchair. And his dad had passed away. His dad was a truck driver, and his dad had died in an accident or something. And so uh, the kid inherited his dad's CB radio, and he got on the air from home and would talk to the truckers out on the interstate highway. So uh, the story was kind of made up at first, I guess, but they found this uh, real kid uh, in the same situation and got in, t in contact with Red Savine, and he actually went to visit the kid personally and to donate a brand new radio to him to use, and tr truckers uh, would talk to him that way from the interstate. So it kind of ended up being a true story after the fact, I Red guess. Red Savine does a lot of his songs in narrational style, and he does a great job, uh, real tear-jerker song, some of them, but uh, he did a lot of songs about CB radio and truckers and that type of thing. So look him up. And there's an article on Alex Carras. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right or not. The sharp one. He uh, He's a football player, I believe. And I don't remember him. I'm not big into sports. But I guess at that time he was um, quite a football player. And Sharp, the CB radio company, uh, hired him to be their spokesman for certain CB radios. So this article is about uh, filming a commercial for Sharp with Alex Carras. So that was kind of interesting. And hiring professional antenna installers to install your CB radio antenna is what this article is about. Once again, SB has the back cover. And then we'll take a look at the April 1977 issue of CB Guide. Product report on the PocketCom 100 milliwatt. CB walkie talkie mini sized with Farrah Fawcett. I think she used this on uh, Charlie's Angels once or Another twice. Actor or actress, actresses also that used CB radio both on the set in the show and in personal lives. Gloria Deedhaven uh, discovers CB. I guess she was uh, an actress on the show Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. Shakespeare antennas. And then we have the SBE Trinidad 3 base station. I have an SBE base station, not quite like this, but I'll let you have a look at that. This one is 279, no sideband. I have a 23 channel sideband. SBE Console 2 23 channel AM and sideband radio. Maybe you remember Betty Bearcat. Her real name was Lynn, but she was a real person and worked for Bearcat. You can call an 800 number to find out frequencies, local frequencies for your area to set up your scanners with. So, kind of an interesting article on the real Betty Bearcat here. And another story on how CB radio is used on the set and in a movie called Survival Run. I don't remember that one. I'll have to look that up, I guess. It looks like uh, it was a pretty active movie. Cobra 32 XLR radio review. And I'll skip a few pages here. Then the Craig scanner. Looks like a crystal type scanner. Review on that. And another police department that keeps an ear on Channel 9. They have uh, base radio at the uh, police station there. They can monitor for calls. They used volunteers would come in and take, do four-hour shifts all week long. Hey, mobile radio. No single sideband. The cost is two oh nine. They look at mobile alarms and how to install them. And of anti antennas. I also had one of these antennas. I think I still have this coil around somewhere in my parts. It worked pretty good. Once again, SB has the rear cover. Here's that antenna, the Avanti, and I used. And now. 
I just have three issues here left of CB Magazine. We're just going to pick a few things out of these. This isn't CB Guide like we were going through here. This is back to CB Magazine. I just have these three somewhat damaged and water damaged issues. We'll pick out a few Let's things. Let's take a peek at June 1976 with the Messenger 323A EF Johnson on the front. They have a review of the Messenger radio here. And I used to work at EF Johnson, like I said in my previous videos, but not during the CB boom. I worked there in the 1980s. How about this? Do you remember the Channel Master Power Wing antennas? I did know one uh, guy that had one of these and seemed to work okay. I never had one about myself. Uh, President Ford's wife, Betty Ford. She was on the CB. She got into the hobby too, I guess. First Mama was her handle. Article about her here. Even a little joke. Eight-year-old CB or saves a family farmhouse with CB radio. Vector radio, I don't remember those. And the EF Johnson single sideband radio. September 1976, let's take a look. SBE. EF Johnson telephone style. Panasonic. Here's a nice tram base station. And here's our Radio Shack Realistic TRC-52. I have one of those. Take a quick look and at that. And a quick look at my realistic TRC-52, which I converted to 10 meters back in the late 70s. So it's not a CB anymore. It's a 10 meter AM radio. JIL made AM FM radios, cassette players with CB built in. And then Black Velvet advertised their whiskey once in a while in here. Custom cutters using CB radio. March 1977, President Radios, Audiocom, Panasonic, and using CB on snowmobiles, and another black velvet. Here's a homing pigeon ant antenna, an indoor antenna. My uncle used to have one of these, and he gave it to me. After uh, many years of using it himself, he lived in an apartment, and eh, it worked pretty good for an indoor antenna. And I never really had a use for it since I had outdoor antennas, but I still have parts to it, I believe. Maybe you should try to put it together again someday. Make um, fiberglass whips. Choose your color. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the rest of these magazines with me. Uh, we'll move on to some other videos now, but thanks for watching. 73WD0AKX, and I was the Red Rider on CB back then, and still am, I guess.